In this one, I'll be showing all the mods I've done to my 2015 Sportster 72 and how I changed it from this into this. So when I bought the bike, the first thing I wanted to do was clean up the space underneath the tank by relocating the coil onto the horn mount. And to relocate the coil, what we did was made a bracket out of sheet metal which will mount onto the horn bracket. Next mod was to whack on some hog light 3-in-1 indicators as I wasn't happy with the indicators being integrated into the number plate bracket. As you can see these 3-in-1 indicators bolted directly onto the fender strut covers and I love how subtle yet bright these indicators are. With this bike I wanted to achieve a modern chopper theme so I had to add a TC Bros sissy bar solely for looks. To build on the chopper look, I decided to ditch the LED headlight and go with an old school triangle headlight. Now a lot of people aren't a fan of this mod because I'm ditching the LED and going with halogen globes which aren't as bright, but I gotta say I absolutely love this old school triangle headlight. To fit this triangle headlight, I had to have the father-in-law make a new mounting block. Next up was to ditch the oversized Arlen Ness air cleaner for a smaller TC Bros finned air cleaner. With the TC Bros air cleaner I had to install these head breather bolts. And as you can see here I'm applying some black air filter oil by k and so the filter is no longer pink. Hated the look of the pink. As I wanted a chopper style bike, I obviously had to extend the forks and the most cost effective way I found to do this was by adding some tracker die extended fork dampers. These fork dampers increase the length of my forks by 3.5 inches. Because of the additional length of the forks, I also had to lengthen my brake lines by 3.5 inches. I was really happy with the feel of the front suspension after installing these dampers. The front end didn't feel as spongy as it did stock and it absorbed the bumps a hell of a lot better. Next up was to ditch the cowbell horn cover and to relocate the horn. So I wanted to mount the horn at the front of the bike and to do this I had to get the trusty father-in-law to make me another bracket. I also had to buy a smaller horn that didn't have a flange as a stock horn wouldn't have been able to mount at the front of the bike. To further achieve the minimalistic styling of a chopper, I wanted to clean up the bars by relocating the speedo gauge to the forks. To do this, I went with the Joker Machine speedo relocation bracket. I had to ditch the stock triple tree clamp which housed the speedo clamp and I had to go ahead and buy another one.
Now I know this mod isn't for everyone because of where it sits on the bike, but I gotta say there's no issues with visibility and I absolutely love the way it looks. So I decided the Saddleman step up seat which was on the bike when I bought it really clashed with the lines of the bike and needed to go. So I went with the Lepera barebone seat and granted it's not as comfy as a step up seat but I definitely think it looks better on the bike. So in continuing to build on the chopper styling, I decided to ditch the belt drive and go with a chain and sprocket conversion. This was the most time consuming mod I've done to the bike to date and it's a mod that I'm most happy with as it really looks old school. I then decided to change the look of the bottom end of the engine by shaving down an alloy cam cover which I bought off eBay. And because the stock cover is chrome plated, I wasn't able to shave it down. I did this mod because I always hated the square blocky look of the Sportster's bottom end. After a couple of hours of grinding, filing, sanding and polishing, the new cam cover was ready to install on the bike. Next was to install a tracker die sprocket cover as I didn't like the look of the stock cover. The fins on the tracker die sprocket cover really tie in with the polished fins on the jugs. And of course I needed to bling up the bike with some Ratfink valve covers. At one point I even went ahead and made my own Ratfink timing cover from resin but it didn't hold up to the engine's heat and just melted off the side of the bike. I then added an oil pressure gauge solely for looks as this mod is completely unnecessary because the newer Sportsters have an oil pressure sensor. But hey, I think it looks a goods anyway and the oil pressure gauge was fairly cheap off eBay. The legends at Joker Machine sent me these rat eye fork mount indicators to try out and I've got to say the quality is second to none. They're well made, super bright and clean up the front end of my bike. And Joker Machine also sent me these load equalizers, which were a piece of cake to install, and they eliminate the fast flash on your speedo when running LED lights. At one stage, I installed some TC Bros Rabbit Ear handlebars, but ended up going back to the stock bars, as I really didn't like the way the bike handled with the Rabbit Ears, and the ride wasn't as comfy as it was with the stock bars. To give the tank a nice sleek look, I went with a flash mount gas cap, and this only took about 10 seconds to install. Super easy. And the last mod I did to this bike was install some Prism brand triple tree mount mirrors. And by not having indicators, mirrors and my speedo hanging off my bars, I believe I've achieved the simplistic styling that most old school choppers have with their handlebars. And that's it so far. I'm pretty content with how the bike looks at the moment and want to focus most of my attention to my next project bike being an Ironhead hardtail chopper build and I've been stockpiling some parts for that bike so I plan on doing a video on it shortly but drop a comment below let me know what you think of my sporty 72 that's going to do it for this one cheers for watching